For Halloween week, I checked out Humus Vampire Seeking Consenting Suicidal. Oh, hold on, let me make sure I got that right. Um, su uh, person. Directed by, hold on a sec. Ariana Louise C's size. It's Canadian, French Canadian, Quebec, you know. Our film centers around Sasha, played by Sarah Montepi, who is an absolute darling here. I'm sure they've got big plans for her. Let's squeeze her into a Christopher Nolan flick so that the American audience can get familiar with her. You know the whole spiel. During a birthday party in which her family feasted on the clown entertainment, yes, they are actually vampires. They're quirky. This is hipster vampire land. Let's have a bunch of vinyls, but we're also going to have a flat screen TV. Let's drive old cars, but we're not necessarily set in an ubiguous setting. It's not It Follows. They're just aging slow. Vampires actually do mature in this. I'm assuming Sasha was born and over the course of, she says she's over 60 years old, looking like a teenager finally, her fangs are not coming in like the other vampire children. In fact, she is perturbed entirely by violence towards humans, except one day she meets Paul, a guy who wants to be a jumper. And on confronting him, her fangs finally come out. This is a weird reaction. The guy who acted as Paul, just everything was this throughout the whole movie, just total amazement without saying much of anything. Though changing up the vampire lore so that they do age, they still can't go out in the sun. And when feasting, I guess you have to kill the victim, make sure they, their pulse goes and, and they quit squirming. Otherwise they will become a vampire and you'll probably just be stuck with them for 300 years. This is a dark indie comedy. Production values look good until special effects probably needed to take place. Oh, hey, I need to throw a guy like it's a Marvel film. Okay, just jump from off frame. So Sasha doesn't want to harm humans, but she's not strictly vegan. She still drinks human blood. It's just, it's like, oh, if mom or dad kill them, then I guess don't want to put that to waste. Still, her family's under pressure from, I guess, the vampire community that is clandestine yet versed enough to have some books published. She has to move in with her killer cousin, and the plot doesn't really quite pick up as much as one would have hoped. Again, indie, so we can't really go everywhere with this. Of course, we've got metaphors here. Your first kill, hey, you invite a boy over, did you do it? Oh, you get it? Hmm? You understand? Hmm? As much as I like Sasha as a character, I feel like we went the wrong way pairing her with Paul. He's just such a wet blanket throughout. Isn't this supposed to be like the lively guy who gets her to see life in a new way? Wouldn't that have been a different way to approach this? But no, I guess they have to be suicidal. I, except really, if you think about it, the title actually comes into the solution they work out at the end. All told, humanist vampire seeking consenting suicidal person is a charming enough 90 minute French Canadian indie film. Don't go expecting a lot more than that. I give it three out of four stars. Thank you for watching my son's YouTube station. It's not for everyone, but he tries. Maybe if you bought some merch below, he'll eventually get good at the YouTubing. <laughs>